Welcome back. You're still watching Power Breakfast right here on Citizen TV. That's a hashtag to use. Uh, hashtag Power Breakfast throughout this session. Uh, remember, do stand by for Carlos Kiba and the band. Uh, of course, a beautiful music coming your way. Uh, country music treat this Monday. A tribute to uh, country music singer-songwriter Don Williams, who died on uh, uh, this past weekend at the age of 78. Of course, Carlos Kiba will be singing some of the Don Williams' beautiful songs during this show. Back to the news review this morning. We're privileged to have Rehema Jaldesa, woman representative in Siolo County. Peter Mathuki, Acting Secretary General, uh, Waipa Party, Ndindi Nyoro, MP Kiharu Constituency, and now joining the panel, Rosa Bui, Woman Representative, Kisumu County. Uh, good morning, uh, Rosa Karibu Sana. Thank good you. Good to have you on the morning. panel. Uh, just before the break, of course, we were looking at uh, headlines to do with education matters, uh, the fact that uh, there are new rules uh, set for KCSC, KCP exams, uh, specifically the introduction of names and photographs on the exam uh, answer sheet for each candidate. Uh, also, this uh, report by World Health Organization with regard to suicide cases, uh, of course, suicide having been linked to that fire, that very deadly fire at Moy Girls High School in Nairobi uh, one week ago. There was another fire at St. George's this past weekend, uh, although no one was injured in that particular incident. Uh, that story about uh, suicides is also captured on the pullout. Uh, on the Daily Nation, it makes for a very good read. And one of those things that have been highlighted is that students in boarding schools have more clinically significant depressive symptoms compared to day schools. Let's now look at the political headlines and starting off with what is leading on the front page of the Daily Nation. Ryla plans court battles over IEBC. NASA says it will district push for the prosecution of top poll managers and more than a thousand other officials it accuses of bungling the August 8th presidential election, which was nullified by the Supreme Court. The story is on page 6. And they say they will go for uh, quite a number of people that they want out before they can <coughs> take part in that presidential election. On page 6 of the standard, the headline is more direct. And it reads... Fire Chiloba, or I will boycott the repeat election. Rosa Bui, let's start off with you. Uh, this threat, <laughs> is, it, <laughs> is it real? Do we even have time to start changing the officials of IEBC, whether the secretariat or otherwise? What do you mean, is there time to change officials? I'm asking, officials? I'm asking. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm asking. <laughs> of course there is time to change officials. Mm -hmm. I think um, if Chiloba was the head, and Chiloba is the head of the secretariat at IEBC, and uh, if areas that were bungled squarely fell on his mandate, then I think he has to take responsibility and do the best thing and resign from that position. There'd, there'd be no point going into an election with exactly the same outfit the way it was, with exactly the same people who contributed into bungling the just concluded presidential election, and then you say that the election is going to be free, fair, transparent and full of integrity. I don't think that would be right. So I think if we are serious as a country that we want the next presidential election or the one that's been ordered to be on the 17th to be of integrity, then whoever bungled that election must take full responsibility and we cannot have that same person supervising over that election. And that is the head of that secretariat. It should be noted that uh, we're still waiting for the written judgment by the Supreme Court uh, whether or not any of these <coughs> officials will be found culpable of bungling the elections, as uh, Rosa Buyu says, we still yet to find out. But don't we run a risk, uh, Rehema Jaldea said, don't we run a risk of actually uh, pre precipitating a crisis now that uh, both NASA and Jubilee have come out to say they don't like some particular people within the IEBC? Uh, NASA is quick to point out names, Chiloba uh, and a few other people, who uh, Chebukati, the IBC chairman, comes out, uh, gives out a list of people who will take care of this uh, repeat presidential poll. Jubilee says they don't want that team. Then would, don't we run a risk of squabbling over names of individuals within the IEBC and end up precipitating a crisis, uh, given that we only have less than 36 days to the next elections? <coughs> Thank you, Fred. I think uh, taking you back to the, to the headline, and uh, my feeling is that as we kept saying many times that uh, NASA is not prepared for this election 
And why am I saying this? If you remember very well, Fred, it is the NASA which went to court to challenge the eighth, eighth election. And just to take you back again, their, their prayers were that the elections were not free and fair. Not the election itself, but the transmission. And the ruling that were given is that the IBC will conduct a fresh election, not any other body. And the constitution is very clear that the election in this country will be undertaken by IBC. So for me, as Jubilee, we were not complaining about Chiloba, Chibukati, IBC officials, or any other person. Yet Jubilee has rejected names given no, by, the, by the names the Jubilee, the uh, names the Jubilee have rejected, as far as uh, constitution is concerned, the mandate of running the secretariat of the election lies with Chiloba. The uh, chairman of IBC, who is Mr. Chubukati, is the one who is the returning officer for the presidential election. If there is any issue, then the, the responsibility lies with the chairman of IBC, yes. who is Mr. Chebukati, not Mr. Chiloba. Yes. Mr. Chiloba is just but providing a secretarial service. So anyone within the secretariat who is given that uh, job to run the elections should be okay. Uh, why is Jubilee uh, fighting that as well? Uh, because uh, the issue is no longer about the chairman of the IEBC. We are talking about now down to the secretariat. We are <coughs> concerned about responsibilities. And the responsibility clearly defines that the CEO is the one who is mandated with the responsibility of running the secretariat. And the CEO that is Chiloba. Where we are coming from. Mm -hmm. And if they are trying to pass any responsibility in as far as IBC concern is concerned, mm -hmm. the fish rots from the head. So Mr. Chebukati should take any responsibility. Yes. Okay. Uh, but Peter Mathuki, yes. of course, politicians have been known to have very uh, varied interests. In this particular one, uh, there are some people who uh, claim that a section of the politicians are not keen on the elections. They are probably uh, keen on a crisis, uh, 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 precipitating a crisis and therefore taking over power through uh, a forced uh, crisis uh, where we are unable to go into elections. Uh, we have only 30 36 days to the set date. After that, another 13 days and the period as set as prescribed by the law is done. Are we sure that politicians from both sides are keen on having on going for the repeat presidential election? Uh, thank you very much. You know, first and foremost, you must appreciate that the election is a process; it's not an event. And that, that I think that came out very clearly in the Supreme Court ruling, and therefore, uh, <coughs> in the whole process of preparations and and so forth, that must be clear, must be must ensure that it gives public confidence, because the election is about public confidence, and if there's no confidence, then there's no need of uh, having an, an election. And that is what the IBC, Chiloba, and the team did. In fact, they betrayed the public in conducting a sharp public election, and that is, that is very clear. When you talk of uh, some functions within IBC, and those functions report to a, a fellow called Chiloba, and therefore, I don't even understand why Chaloba in the first place is waiting to be told to resign. He should have taken the responsibility long time ago and left. For somebody like Chaloba who has worked in a United Nations system where there are strong values of fairness and integrity, he should have said, I take responsibility for this and left the office. And I think that is what's the expect of him. How do you mess an election? And now you are busy saying, I'm now preparing for another ele election. This is not a, a kid's play. This is a serious matter of great public importance. And that's why we are telling Chiloba should not be part of this uh, election process. I don't understand what is he doing in the office in the first place. And therefore, for anyone to think that we are not serious and NASA is not ready, NASA has been ready, <coughs> NASA is ready, and if we have a level playing ground in this, and that, that is what is expected, mm -hmm. of course I can assure you, 
we are forming the next government. Uh, oh, before, uh, before I move to Borandini, Peter Matsuki, what if the written judgment by the Supreme Court uh, points in a different direction, that probably it's not uh, Chiloba, uh, because uh, uh, your side of the coalition seems to have singled out uh, Ezra Chiloba, the CEO of IBC, and you want him out or else you will not go for the polls. Uh, we're still waiting for the judgment, uh, written judgment by the Supreme Court, which will come any time in the next week or so. And this is still before the elections. What if it points out, uh, points to a different direction? What then? You, know, you still hold the threat that if Chiloba is still there, uh, you will not go to the polls. If you look at the ruling, if you look at the ruling of the Supreme Court, uh, it, it mo it's mostly pointed on the processes. And some of the key functions were that were mentioned, this is about election management, which is one of the functions of the or units of the IBC, and then of course we spoke about the IT, the transmission uh, system function, <coughs> and again of course the issues of legalities and stuff. All those functions again are taken in nature, and the whole report to the CEO, and the CEO is one called Chiloba, mm -hmm. and therefore it's not about uh, about uh, the ruling. I don't expect a ruling of the Supreme Court to come and talk about in windows. It's about the process. It's about the functions. It's about who. Is about how each function was mismanaged, and therefore that's why they came to that decision that the entire process was shambolic. Just to add yeah. on to that, if you're talking about like um, a tendering process having gone uh, haywire, or what was delivered was not what was agreed on, for example, in the papers or the ballot papers. Uh, or the forms that did not have security features and things like that, those fall under a committee that's called tendering committee. Tendering committee is supervised or falls directly under uh, Chiloba as the head of that secretariat. So the head of those different functions, who is Chiloba, should actually take responsibility for many of his functions having failed the whole process. Mm -hmm. Bona of course, uh, Bona Wafula Chimkati came out and said, okay, fine, some of these people within the secretariat will be uh, sidestepped in as far as coming up and running this, uh, repeat, presidential election. Uh, Ezra Chiloba was left out of that team. Quite a number of people were left out as well. Uh, a new list was given out by Bona Chibukati. That list, Jubilee has said no to. Uh, don't you think that now we're running around in circles, we're just running around in circles that both Jubilee and NASA seem to be talking about individuals and not really the process, <coughs> which, uh, according to the Supreme Court, was the problem, not individuals? Uh, Fred, the uh, breadth and uh, length of double standards from our competitors is glaring. Because once they start accusing an individual in the name of Chiroba and leave out the, where the buck stops, I think we see a lot of inconsistencies. Because as my sister said, clearly it is in the Constitution, the Honorable Member knows, and even my brother knows, that there are the, 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 the responsibility of delivering a credible presidential vote lies squarely on the chairman of IABC. But we are not bereft uh, of the idea that NASA will always have issues. This is just one of them. I am sure before we get to 17, we will see all manner of accusations and all manner of reasons. But when did Njoro, my question was directly about the U uh, Jubilee rejecting names as proposed by Bonawafula Chibukati as well. And these are not names of commissioners, these yeah. are names of people within the Secretariat. They still work for IABC. It's only that, yes, he has come up with a different team to run the repeat presidential election. Jubilee says no to that team as well. I was coming there and I wonder where Chibukati gets the powers to get some grouping of friends uh, to, to run the event on 17th. Mm -hmm. Because clearly the role of IABC cannot be subjugated and given to a cabal of friends of the chairman. Therefore, that's why we have a problem. Even looking at the list, definitely, Fred, with all fairness, that list does not represent the face of Kenya. And that is why we are saying we have the CEO of IABC. That CEO, no one has uh, uh, accused him of anything, especially with tangible evidence. We are still waiting for the judgment. Uh, from the Supreme Court, and therefore, acting even before it comes out leaves more questions than answers. In so far as where is the Bukati getting all this information, which also NASA happens to have, because we clearly can see uh, there is a conspiracy between the three institutions. That is why we start very strongly. IBC is the uh, is, is the is the institution mandated to deliver the polls. We don't want any divisions within, and divisions can only come. Uh, from the kind of activities that the chairman is doing by setting his friends uh, to run 
the very important uh, event. I think now, it's now important. Now, Jubilee is against Wafula Chibukati. Now, Jubilee is against, against, Wafula, Chibukati. Uh, Jubilee is against Wafula Chibukati. NASA appears to be against Ezra Chiloba. Uh, if things go as they stand because it's 50-50 mm -hmm. uh, if things go as they stand will Jubilee still go uh, to the polls? Uh, uh, Fred, Fred, I, I want to be very very clear mm -hmm. that Jubilee was ready for an election even the following day after the ruling party even if the list by Wafula Chebukati I can tell you leave around Chebukati we are saying even if Muheshimiwa Rosa or Raida Odiga becomes the chair of IABC we have no qualms okay. because our issue is definitely with the numbers Okay. We know we have the numbers. We don't care who counts the votes. The votes are a majority on our side. Fred, can I say this? Yes. Can, can, I, can I say this? First of all, we must make it clear that the team that was set by Chebukati was not set from outside IBC or from without of IBC. It was set from within. So the team or the members of that team are actually members of IBC. So it is not right to say that Chebukati went to look for his friends. These are still members of IBC. And like you say, IBC is the body that is mandated to run elections. And so even these people are still part of IBC. I'd also like to say that administratively, we should not interfere with IBC in as far as who they appoint to do what functions within IBC. But the issue for us is the people who've been named in that team to carry out the project directly report to Chiloba. Chiloba is the one who seems to have failed in the functions that caused the elections to be bungled. Now if they still take orders from Chiloba and Chiloba is still left to sit in that position carrying out or executing the same duties as he was before, then what hope do we have to have a credible election? These people still directly take instructions from him. They still report to him. So even if they've been named to man this project, we are left without confidence that Chiloba is not going to be interfering with the process like right. he's interfered with the process. Allow me to just give process. one point. Yes. yes. I just want to add maybe one issue that I forgot to say. That uh, this team must have had a certain uh, job description when they were recruited into the secretariat. And it is not right yeah, to just come, because we are dealing with an election, a presidential election for that matter. Therefore, it is just not right for Chibukati to wake up one day and appoint a team that has been appointed with different job description. I think that has to come out very clearly. Yes, he has to run uh, the commission and by extension yeah. uh, the secretariat and how elections are, are done. If he decides to come up with, because he's not employing anyone new. Mm. Uh, that's true. Come up with a exactly. list. That is exactly what that he's saying. Exactly. Mm. Mm. Chebukati cannot have all the privileges yes. and run away from responsibility. Mm -hmm. His role as chair is executive in nature. Therefore, the first step you ought to do is first to take responsibility for the mismanagement of the presidential vote. And of course denying the person who was elected by the majority of Kenyans the victory. And therefore, this side shows by NASA inconsistencies that they want Chiroba to go, but the people who fall under him, they want him to, to, uh, or them to, uh, to remain. I think we need to start on some principles, not just talking for the, sake of, uh, for the sake of talking, just because we believe or we belong to some political groupings. Yes. Peter Mabuki, of course, yeah. you've, you've threatened to boycott the elections, and I'm talking about NASA, not you as an individual. You've threatened to boycott the elections if Chiloba uh, will still be in charge of the IEBC <laughs> as a CEO. Uh, but that would uh, actually precipitate a crisis that in case we fail to go for this election within 60 days then there is a real problem which is not even defined uh, within the constitution we do not know what will happen next if we do not go uh, for the elect repeat elections before the end of october don't you think you're just presenting a problem uh, by rejecting one individual you know i'm happy that my brother Nero has confirmed indeed the elections were mismanaged and in fact that's the point we kept on saying and therefore, when somebody like Chebukati takes responsibility and says, I don't want to entrust <coughs> some of the characters who are directly involved in some of this management, then of course they start uh, accusing him. And therefore, I think what he, he may have done as a chairman, and I can tell you, of course coming too late, is that first and foremost, they must make sure there is a level of playing ground. And indeed, as NASA, we've come out and uh, pinpointed some of the functionalities or functions that are, are the challenge 
based on the court, court ruling. And we said, if it is about election management and voter registration, there was an issue. Who was responsible for this function? We have an issue with that person. But don't you think that, that is trying to micromanage an independent commission uh, that uh, probably you should have nothing to, to do or say in with how IEBC is run? It you should be a player in the, in the election. And that's what we are saying. We didn't have a problem with the Supreme Court that said indeed this was not an election to the shambolic. And it I was because of some of these functions. And we say the problem here is that it was about the management. And therefore why do we want to go into an election that we know the level ground is not okay. is not a strike. Chiloba, no, no, Chiloba no, no. out of the way question. does not handicap IBC. Chiloba out of the way does not handicap IBC. And IBC will still be able to carry out its mandate of carrying out the presidential election. But, uh, but Rosa, but the question is, the question and, and is, asking, yeah, it is and not up to politicians to choose who runs this the is election. What I'm going, this is what I, I'm saying, Fred. You've been By asking yes. Chiloba, who was in charge of the bungled functions, to get out of IBC does not mean that you want to micromanage IBC. No. If we were, just hold it red, just yeah. hold it red, if we were to insist on a replacement for Chiloba and point out that so and so must be the one replacing Chiloba, then it is true, you would tell us that we are micromanaging IBC. All we are saying is, if Chiloba is the man who was in charge of these functions that ended up making the elections be what it was, then this Chiloba must be out of that way. IBC is free to put whoever they want in place of that Chiloba because that is their mandate and that is administrative. Yeah. But the other problem that you, you insist on, uh, even away from Chiloba, and this, because it's the same accusation, yeah. that you keep presenting problems to the IEBC and you demand that unless these ones are sorted, we will not do this. The other one is, is to do with who will print the ballot papers. That headline is on page six of the What do you mean we keep I'll presenting problems to, to IEBC? Can you qualify I'm that? Saying, I'm saying you've been accused. The changing of the ballot printing form is one of the demands that NASA wants met before it can take part in that election. But it doesn't matter how many times we have to pinpoint things that are going wrong. If that is the only way we are going to have an a, a credible election process, it doesn't matter how many times we have to point out those wrong things. It if eventually we end question. up with a credible pro process. Hence my question. Yeah. Hence my question. Yeah. If we fail to go for these elections yes. within the next 35 days and October comes and goes without us going into the elections because of some of these disputes to do with who will print the ballot paper, who will be in charge of the process, that presents this country with a crisis. It's, Fred, not, it's, not, a, it's not a crisis, Fred. Fred. Let me finish because right. it was my yes. right. What I'm saying is, Fred, and I said right from the beginning, election is a process. And if all these processes and stages were mismanaged, and again, if people are preparing to mismanage this, it doesn't matter how long it takes. We have seen countries where, in fact, uh, uh, caretaker governments have been put in place to ensure that things happen in the right place. Let me tell you something. Is that, is that the intention? Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Uh, let me finish this. It is very important that to ensure that things are done in the right way. It's about integrity. It's about public confidence. It's about making sure that, and I can assure you, every other five years, and whenever we go to Supreme Court, we come out stronger as a nation. We come out stronger as a country because we learned something. 2013, they stole an election and they got away with it. 2017, they were caught and they were told now, hey, stop, you've now stolen this, we cannot allow you. This was mismanaged. Yeah. How do we now wait and see again they mismanage and we say, let us now accept and proceed and just, no, we're not. We right. want things to happen at good governance is not an easy issue. We must make sure that it happens in Kenya. We must make sure we set the right presidents in not only in, uh, in this region but in Africa and in the world. Okay. That's what we are saying. We, are friend. Friend. Mm -hmm. we as the Jubilee are very concerned by the conduct and the kind of uh, talks we are getting from our competitors. Because definitely you can see and you put it very rightly that there is a needless game to keep us going into routes and circles until the day stipulated by the IABC come to the close. And we are very certain by their conduct even before uh, the election that they are very focused into getting their way into the government without the mandate from the majority of Kenyans. And you know, Fred, um, we want domination the over others, we want the election. domination from, uh, <laughs> over others is, a, is an addictive drug that stimulates the desire for more of it. And we believe that uh, the NASA guys, their only drive is to gain power. And that is why, because they know they, are, they have no numbers, 
They are trying to tabulate. They are trying to add up. Nothing is adding up in terms of majority. Manjero, don't yeah. you think you're already playing into their hands uh, by yeah. also getting involved in the game of rejecting names from the IEBC? But you uh, are also precipitating a crisis as well by getting involved in that circle of uh, we want these people or it's not uh, a, a good process. Uh, we cannot always give leeway to justify our, uh, to justify ourselves that they ask this, it happens. Next time, probably they'll ask uh, our president not to be sworn in even when he's validly elected. When it comes to studying by the rule of law, we have to stand our ground. They should open but we want to tell them we are ready for an election. We have been ready. I think the modest thing to do, and the very responsible thing to do for any politician, is to do what we've been doing, trying to uh, analyze where we got how many votes, going out of uh, our way, quoting the leaders, even from... Uh, I, in fact, uh, I was surprised when Peter said, in the section of Wiper, I almost asked him which wiper, because the entire wiper has now joined Jubilee. And that is the point, wipers, that Jubilee. we are out there reaching out, mm -hmm. even to NASA <laughs> itself. Are you because saying that this rejection of the list given by Wafula Chebukati is not a real push by uh, Jubilee? It's only half-hearted that uh, you're not really concerned about the list? You're what we are saying just it's saying, saying political Fred, rhetoric. what we are studying on is this. We have IABC with the chair Chebukati. Mm -hmm. We have not actually even asked for Chebukati to resign. We have even not asked the, the named officers in that uh, small grouping to resign. What we are just saying is this. The constitution mandates the entire IABC from the chair to the secretariat mm -hmm. to conduct the election. Mm -hmm. That is all we are asking. Be a minimum. Let the institution Remains do its active. work. Okay. And I add on that, Fred, maybe, just allow me to say this one. Mm -hmm. That uh, listening to my colleague, my friends here, it is very evident that uh, NASA is not prepared for this election. Uh, it is in the public domain that the f the sec the f I think the second respondent in their uh, petition was Chebukati. And now, with the, a lot of insincerity, Chebukati all of a sudden has become a saint. And a good lawyer that he is, he is trying to look for an exit out. And that is where we have a problem as Jubilee. So, like Mushmo has said, we are not concerned about the new uh, staff that were brought in. All we are saying is, let the election be conducted. And let me just uh, tell my friend, uh, uh, my sister Rosa here, that we are very lucky that this country has a president like Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm. If this was any other country, mm -hmm. yeah, or <coughs> if... Uh, I, I know, God forbid, if um, the Raila will have been the president of this country, you will have seen a lot of chaos in this city. But Raila, Uhuru being the person he is, he has I really don't know what you're talking about. and moved on and campaigned and ready for 17th of October. Okay. So we are just telling them humbly, please go out there, if you have the numbers, campaign. Play by the rules. Play by the rules. Uh, Look, no, we just let me have said yeah the president will easily have said if the voting had no issues if it is only the transmission then can the <coughs> court you know order recount. for the recount yes, they are not it. saying that and they don't refer to the courts because not even the petitioner and none of the respondents for that. no one applied for yes. a recount of that you know, let, 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 let's easy for everyone first of all we were trying we were finished no 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 just wait I'm going to talk you, to I want to give you an opportunity to react to that but there's a claim by Peter Mathuki he mentioned a caretaker government even as you rebut uh, you give your rebuttal to no, the so claim by really, that no. issue of a caretaker government or even the possibility uh, once we okay. we are unable to okay, at all to go for the election, I, I want a clarification from you. Rosa. I want to let, let me no. Let me say this. First of all, this um, my friend, you were in ODM, swearing <laughs> allegiance to what ODM stood for. That when you suddenly changed and went to Jubilee <laughs> and started thinking that Uhuru was the best president and Raila would cause chaos, I don't know. <laughs> but that's where it is. Chebukati is the chairperson of IBC. There are ways of removing a commissioner or chair of the commission from IBC. Chiloba getting out of IBC really has no process because he's an employee of the secretariat like any other. What we are saying as NASA is this. We do not want to choose the people to run elections for IBC. Unlike Jubilee, who came out clearly to state that they do not want so-and-so, they looked for all the laws in IBC 
all the KCs in IBC, all the lawyers in IBC, and stated through their Secretary General that they do not want these people to be part of that project. In other words, you've gone to ethnic profiling. Mm -hmm. That uh, is what is called actually sorting out or the, the trying to micromanage IBC and trying to tell IBC who to employ. Our position is this. You have given us a, a, pro, a, a, a team to handle that project. All we are saying is this team directly reports to this Cheloba who bungles our elections. How then would they be free of that bungling influence from Chiloba? Get Chiloba out of that way or out of that position so that these people that IBC has cho have chosen can actually do the job that IBC has given them to do. Uh, Full stop. We are not saying that don't put so and so, instead put so and so. We are not doing that because in the eyes of NASA, every Kenyan is equal and every Kenyan deserves to be Kenyan. Unlike you people will profile ethnically Friend. and say if it's a Luo, if it's a Luya, if it's a Kisi, we don't want them Friend. to be part of that project. And again, and that is, is an unfortunate. Bonanyoro, yes? And we cannot allow a member of parliament to lie to Kenyans uh, in such a, a national TV station. Because when he talks about profiling ethnically, I wonder what uh, she's talking about. The list we forwarded to IABC include names of even my ethnic tribe, Kikuyus, and yet we have reservations. The person who actually wrote the letter to IABC is that comes actually from his ethnic, uh, from her ethnic group. Yes. Therefore, for us, it is not a matter of where you come from, okay. and, and we have reasons okay. because our party Jubilee yes. is represented. Oh, across no. the country, okay. in 43 out of the 47 counties, point, we point have elected made, members. Point made because I don't want us to go to continue that line of ethnicity. Uh, it's a very thin line. But back to the issue of uh, caretaker government, uh, yeah. Zabuyu, uh, that was mentioned by Peter Matsuke. I just want, before P uh, Peter Matsuke, I know you want to make a clarification, but uh, <laughs> yes. uh, Rosa Buyu? Um, you know, when we had 60 days, which is now 36 days, remember the last, just before the general le election that we had on 8th of August, there was this hullabaloo about there's no time, there's no time for uh, to tender or to go through the tendering process for the company that should be awarded the tender of printing ballot papers. So IBC had a leeway and did direct sourcing. Direct sourcing or single sourcing does not take three months, does not take six months. So they still have the opportunity for single sourcing, credible single sourcing, so that we don't have the same company that did not, that delivered uh, uh, forms or ballot papers that did not meet the requirement, uh, the, the, the set standard of, mm -hmm. of IBC to be the same company that is still doing the printing. Mm -hmm. We have time to change that. It does not mean that when NASA points out key loopholes, it does not mean that what NASA is trying to do is to go way beyond the stipulated 60 days. There is still time, if there is goodwill, to do exactly single sourcing that they did when they settled for this company, Gulurai, whatever it's called. That company that gave us things that, they were not that was not up to the required standard. There is still time for that. So we can still have elections in 36 <coughs> days if IBC is serious with the job it, uh, it has at, uh, in hand. Okay. Uh, uh, Bona Peter Matsuki, you want yeah. to make a clarification on that? Yeah, I want to make a clarification to say, and this will not be the first time to happen, and I said, even besides the IBC preparations, which I hope they will do, and if they don't, they are likely to put this country into a crisis, and the whole world is watching. And we say, if at all they will not be ready, and again, if they are not ready to take some of these, uh, you know, uh, steps or measures to ensure that there is a level playing ground, for an election. So these are some of the options. We are even seeing a situation where a sitting person with government is using government machinery. Even some of those working in government offices as public servants also participating in the campaign so, so for the election. Is, it, is real, saying, it is a real solution that you are looking at. And I'm telling you, and I'm telling him, I'm telling it could be one of the options that has happened all over everywhere. And I said, at all, we need a fair ground then. We'd rather have a, a caretaker <coughs> independent government that would ensure that again uh, people don't take sides mm -hmm. I can tell you some of those in office some of them they don't even mean but they are forced by the government to go and yeah. participate in an election and therefore we are saying if we were to have that could be one of the options uh, and it has, it's not only in Kenya it has happened in so many other places yes. thank you for that clarification but I mean Peter Matsuki <laughs>
As we wrap up our uh, news review this morning, uh, there's uh, also uh, an issue of uh, campaign funding that has come up. Uh, uh, yeah. It's part of the headlines. Yeah. And uh, both the Jubilee and NASA, and I had the Jubilee, uh, the principals talking so much about this campaign funding. It is, uh, there's nothing illegal about it. Uh, the fact that uh, NASA is going to get money directly uh, from the people, but the headline not the people four, uh, from ordinary wananchi. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, ordinary wananchi. They are not animals. Uh, but uh, on page four, of the Daily Nation, uh, it's a different uh, tangent uh, to that uh, particular discussion. Mbadi, who's the ODM chairman, downplays MPs disquiet about poll funding. <laughs> the opposition has played down disquiet within its ranks about MPs contributing towards funding the national super alliance presidential campaigns. Now this was during a, a parliamentary group meeting. Uh, understandably that uh, newcomers, new uh, entrants into parliament, uh, in, into uh, both the National Assembly and the Senate are expected to contribute 200,000 shillings each mm. to the presidential campaigns. We do understand that not everyone is happy with that, uh, but uh, some of them have been told, the, the, the old members, uh, they are to give about 500,000, that's half a million shillings each, but still have to pay their monthly contribution to their parties. Is this true? Uh, let's come to you, Rosa Buyu, before we move to other people. Of course, it's a lot of money. You've just come uh, from the campaigns, and now you're required, you as a new entrant into parliament, <coughs> are required to make 200,000 shillings. Uh, I think you're using the wrong word, Fred. The word is not required. This was in discussion, and when a party is going for an election, you put down everything uh, mm. on the table. You put your strategy on the table. You put your what, what you need to achieve that strategy on the table. And after lengthy discussion, we got to the conclusion that indeed we needed to raise funds. Instead of raising funds from other people who are not elected leaders, it was also ag discussed and agreed that elected leaders should make a contribution. Nobody can force you to make a contribution unless you want to, from your salary. Mm -hmm. So this saying, was are not... Are saying there are members who are exempt, that, uh, if, uh, the, who will be allowed not to contribute? If I don't want to contribute, I have a right not to contribute. But what I'm saying is, a proposal was put on the table, which was discussed, and members, majority of the members agreed and said that for new members, let us contribute 200,000. For the older members who've served for more than one term, let them contribute 500,000. But nobody is going to hold a knife or a gun to your head to make sure that you contribute that money. It is voluntary, and if you're willing, you do contribute. Likewise, we've sent out an appeal as NASA to the ordinary Wana Inchi who would like to be associated with this improved electoral process that we are fighting for to make a contribution willingly and nobody is forcing anyone and nobody is telling you that you must contribute 10 million per plate you contribute whatever you think you can afford and whatever you willingly would like to contribute and there is nothing wrong with that yes. nobody is putting a gun to your head and forcing you to contribute <coughs> that yes um, when I, when I yeah. in your of course uh, this subject of how NASA is fundraising mm -hmm. has been the talking point in your campaign this past weekend. Both the President and Deputy President have been discussing the issue of Na NASA yeah. uh, fundraising. Why is it? Why is it even important to Jubilee how NASA chooses to get its money? Uh, we have to say it as it is, Fred, uh, because you have seen uh, a lot of disorganization uh, in NASA. But how does uh, it concern? So how does it I am coming there yeah. after the elections. The reason is here. Nairobi is now correct, uh, uh, collecting around 39 million a day from 17 million. We know and we have evidence that the, other, uh, the previous governors of NASA used to fund their campaigns using the taxpayers' money. That is why they are so disorganized, they don't know where to start. But even going ba ba uh, ba back to Kidogo, Kenyans are very surprised because this is not even the first time that ODM is coming out uh, to fundraise money from Kenyans. And every time it happens, some kind of zagari happens. They fundraised money for teachers. No teacher, even a single teacher, got a cent. Where did that money go to? We know very well uh, that because uh, uh, their pipes have been closed, now they are trying all manner of things, but they don't have the legitimacy, they don't have the history to show Kenyans that even when they fundraise, and even when they chip in their small resources, it will be managed well. But, uh, Fred, even going there, I want the two members 
before they live here. First of all, tell us how does it affect you? It what business of yours is it, it that NASA is seeking or requesting people to contribute Fred, can to I tell her? Yes, yes. Allow sir. me to tell Remember. her this. And I want to thank uh, Rosa for acknowledging that uh, some time back I was an ODA member. That was back in 2007. And being a member then, I know what has been going on in ODM. <laughs> and the problem that we have is not why they are fundraising. The problem we have is when monies are collected from innocent uh, citizens of this country, oh. from friends and well-wishers, and the same monies are not accounted for. That is our problem. So I want Rosa to explain to us where all the nomination, those exaggerated nomination fees that are collected from the governors, that are collected from the women members of parliament, that are collected with even people living with disabilities, are not spared by NASA. And so our, that, that our concern, concern mm -hmm. is about the element of accountability. When that they concern shout has also been captured uh, in this story by Samuel Luino. Mbari down please and please describe about poll funding. Now this comes from legislators, not even the other members. Exactly. Top on the list of concerns was accountability in the use of the funds. Now questions were raised on how money was raised for the August polls. How money raised for the August polls was utilized by the coalition. Peter Matuki, do you have an answer to that? Yeah. Thank, thank, you. You. Thank, thank you very much. Uh, you know, Fred, it's the, the law is very yeah. clear on uh, fundraising for political activities in this country. And the law is very clear. And therefore, I don't see the issue of even a lot of arguments on whether we are doing the right thing. As NASA, we have given a number, a pay bill number, which is 991444, which is very clear. And it's about those who want to participate in this. Uh, you remember, in 2007, <laughs> Raila, for everything's sake, contested for presidential election. He never got money from any <coughs> governor. 2013, he also did the same. He never got money from any governor. So for when one to claim that NASA has been getting money from governors, it's neither here nor there. Number two, if you look at now this, even in the, in the advanced countries like America and so forth, they've gone to the common monarch and say, raise a dollar so that you can feel part and parcel of this governance. And that's what we call good governance. So the issue of accountability is there. And I'm sure it is all again put in the law. And therefore, it's not their business actually. I don't know what their concern is. They are lucky to have been in government and been doing a lot of tenders where they've been getting their monies from to, far, to possibly fund their activities. As we are going to the Mwanainji and telling them, you'll be part of this government. And therefore, feel free to participate in this. And therefore, when you form government after the elections in October, the common Mwanainji will feel, yes, I am part and parcel of this government. I and that, to, to me, that is part of good governance. I listened to Honorable Dwale the other day on TV and I thought he'd gone berserk because he was busy talking about the strategy of ODM to give ownership of the movement, to give ownership to the people of Kenya. Why was that a problem to him? And I'd like to, it's, it's almost laughable when Jubilee talks about accountability. What do you know about accountability? You have never counted to Kenyans what you did, wh where the Eurobond went to. You've never accounted to Kenyans what happened at the NYS. You know absolutely nothing about accountability. And it is not, uh, NASA is not in the business and is not under any obligation to tell Jubilee that in our fundraising activity we collected two million and we used one million for advertising and we used 50,000 for food and we used 20,000 for transport. That is none of your business. What NASA is doing is giving ownership, the people, an opportunity to own the process that we are going into. Right. If you think and if you believe that what NASA is doing to transform this country in terms of giving a credible electoral process and going into this election, you are requested to contribute as little as you have. It's well, acceptable. Nero, you so say you have evidence before, that before NASA. That. No, you say you have evidence that NASA has been uh, getting money from governors. Are you? Uh, I think that's criminal. Uh, shouldn't you be pursuing uh, such governors uh, through legal means instead of uh, just talking about it in political platforms? We have the president accusing one of those governors who lost uh, of actually uh, using the county funds to fund NASA. Don't you think that's a very serious allegation that should be addressed uh, through legal means? Uh, Fred will be doing it at the appropriate time. As you know how Kenya is, if we start pursuing these uh, criminals now, of course, 
uh, the, the rights of Mheshimiwa Rosa. The story we'll of come, Jubilee, we'll no stone will be left we'll unturned. They'll be doing at we'll an appropriate on, time. On, on live TV and start twisting the whole fiasco into politics. But when we talk about accountability and we have all the legitimacy to talk about it, we are talking and speaking on behalf of millions of Kenyans who had raised money for teachers and the money went directly to the pocket of one of their principals. And honestly speaking, uh, we, who has more authority from NASA to talk about accountability and integrity? He talks about Eurobood. Can he tell us where our Tokyo embassy went to? <laughs> one of their principals have the answer. Okay. Can they tell us Kazi kwa vijana mahi, where that, it went to, I know that where the prime minister was in charge. And even seamlessly, money for cemetery. You have no more authority to talk about the things you are talking about. Okay. Tell Kenyans first where you took teachers' money before we can contribute. The money for the teachers was handed to the teachers. You are collapsing, to your collapsing political... Gentlemen. Uh, Ladies thing. and gentlemen, let's reserve that uh, very interesting debate for another day. Uh, we'll try and make time for a good show uh, for that back and forth between NASA and Jubilee and who's more accountable than the other. For now, let's watch up our news review. I'll give you each about 45 seconds to give your fi final submissions. Let's we'll start with you, Rehama Jaldesa. Uh, thank you so much, Fred. Uh, I just want to appeal to our competitors in NASA that uh, this country is bigger than all of us. We need this country. We need it for our generation. So let us uh, have a campaign that is guided by Dokoram. Let us be prepared. Let us go back to the people of this nation and ask for votes and ask for votes in a moderate way without raising temperatures. And I think above all, let them be prepared. Let us meet each other on the 17th of uh, October. And I think after that, we will think about where to start bringing Kenyans together from. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rehema Jaldesa, woman representative of Siolo County. Peter Mafuki. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what I would say is that um, we are in it again. We thank God that indeed uh, Kenya now is in the top in terms of good governance and democracy. Uh, given, of course, the uh, Supreme Court ruling that... Uh, was very justified according to me and all over and i can tell you that is way to go kenya now has matured democratically and that's way to go i'm sure that would be a good lesson for other countries in, in africa uh, let us uh, prepare we are ready as nasa for the elections that are coming in uh, october and we want to call upon everyone of course to come and and participate in this this morning we are starting off with uh, with the, the entire leadership of uh, Lower East that we are meeting in Machakos from 11 where we want to strategize and come up with a winning strategy where we are making sure indeed NASA forms the next government so we invite everyone and we must feel that we are all Kenyans, Kenya belongs to all of us and therefore no one should ever feel that Kenya belongs to some of them, I thank you Thank you, Bwana Peter Mafuki, Acting Secretary General of WIPA Party Ndindi Nyoro and Piki Haru uh, I think the, the grad studying we are having is on the basis of principle and I have said it in another platform that NASA believes that the person who counts is the person who counts the vote. As in Jubilee believe that the person who counts is the person who votes and that is why we are out there looking for votes trying to, uh, to, 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 to build bridges and trying to consolidate our support in terms of votes. And I want as I wind up the, the, uh, uh, Peter and Mweshimewa to face the camera and tell Kenyans on behalf of their bosses whether after 17 we are going to be treated on another address uh, 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 circus because in Jubilee we are prepared and we have the numbers yeah. but we want certainty that after we win because we are winning will they accept the mandate of the sovereign will of the people of Kenya Finally, Rosa Bui, woman representative, representative Kisumu County. I think NASA's whole drive in this process is to ensure that we have a credible electoral process where it doesn't matter who the end winner is if the process is credible. There is still time to ensure that all the loopholes that we experienced in the last general election are actually sealed. NASA is prepared to go for an election within the stipulated time but only stressing that let us do it right. NASA is inviting Kenyans, any Kenyan who would like to be involved in the process that is going on now, to contribute whatever it has or whatever they have.
to this process so that they can own the whole process and they can feel a party to this movement, this great movement that will take power from the 17th of October. Well, thank you so much, Rosa Bui, Woman Representative, Kisumu County, Ndindi Nyoro, MP Kiharu, Peter Mathuki, Acting Secretary General, Waipo Party, and Rehema Jaldesa, Woman Representative, Isiolo County, helping us look at the headlines this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your uh, considered opinions. That has been the news review. Uh, the headlines this morning, very interesting. Remember, the hashtag Power Breakfast is a hashtag to use uh, throughout this next one hour or so uh, that we still have a lot in store for you remember Carlos Kiba is in the house uh, with this uh, beautiful tribute to the late Don Williams uh, also uh, Joey Mudengi will be hosting uh, Dr. Wale for that uh, Inspiration Monday interview plus Willis Raburi is on standby with some very strong men for me my name is Fred Indemuli good morning